What is going on guys? It's Carp back with a Destiny commentary, a state of the game, and my mentality if you will. So the gameplay in the background is Iron Banner. I did quite well in this match. I had a KD of over 8. It was just super fun. I love the Iron Banner, but we're not here to talk about the Iron Banner. We're here to talk about all the videos we keep seeing from other YouTubers, informational videos, the what if. So I'm not going to sit here and speculate exactly what the Taken King is about. I didn't get early access or anything like that. But I did want to talk about a few small details and about what I understand so far. So the wealth of information that was kind of thrown up on us last week about the Taken King was overwhelming. So I took a little bit of a break, a little bit of a recharge, especially when I learned that our legendary armor and weapons they're not going to be useless when the Taken King starts, but they're going to be phased out. Some of the legendary weapons we'll still be able to use in PvP, but in PvE we're going to get stronger weapons. They say the amount of weapons that we're going to get in the Taken King is more than Vanilla Destiny and the expansions combined, which is very, very exciting to get me wrong. I'm just a little sad to let go of some of those uh, really sentimental drops that I got that took me a long time to get. But, c'est la vie, we move on. Now the leveling system. The clarification on this so far, as I understand, is if we're light level 34, then we're going to start the Taken King as level 34 with a max level of 40. They also said that light level will still matter, but it's going to be restricted to quote unquote how powerful we are. Now Bungie said they're going to have a live stream, which will clarify this much better than any of us here on YouTube can do it. So that's where I am now as far as we'll just have to wait and see. The Dreadnought looks amazing. I can't wait to explore. It's one of the reasons why when I first started playing Destiny I just couldn't put the controller down. It had a linear storyline, immense freedom on the other side. So if you started a mission you're like, oh, I'm just so not powerful enough to do this. I don't, I don't feel like I'm doing well. You could go grind some bounties, level up a little bit more, try to get a better drop, and then go back and try it again. It's very cool. Now, the gunsmith's repurpose. It's phenomenal. Testing new weapons as bounties in order to get new stronger weapons. Very cool concept. This will force quite a change up as far as the loadouts for PvP and PvE go because people will be trying to do these bounties rather than just walk in with their thorn to the last word and start wrecking heads. So, I have one more announcement to make. The GameStop here in my town will be doing a midnight release of the Taken King. Not only did I get the collector's edition, which includes the physical items such as the strange coin, but I splurged and got this. Look at you. PS4 limited edition console, Taken King. Very cool. Very awesome. I, uh, I'm not excited to see my bank statement next month, but anyway, you gotta splurge sometimes when you enjoy something as much as I enjoy Destiny. So I know last week I didn't uh, do my normal rotation of videos. It was just a little bit of burnout, guys. I hopped on the Crucible last night, got my mojo back, and kind of rediscovered why I love this game. And I just can't wait for September 15th. It's going to be a great day. I took off work. Going to do that unboxing video for the PS4 and the Collector's Edition to show you guys exactly what it looks like up close. Can't wait. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all the support. You guys are great. Drop a comment. Tell me what you have planned for September 15th and how excited you are. I will catch you guys next time. Peace.